Once you start this exercise, you realize vaginas are everywhere, really. This is the speculum. <laughs> Unless you have a vagina or you're a gynecologist, you're probably not familiar with it. Think of it as a can opener for the vagina. I've also described it as a tire jack. It sucks and it's anxiety inducing. But the speculum is just one part of the pelvic exam process. The rest of the exam tends to be, well, pretty bad. But it doesn't need to be. Now, a team of kick-ass designers are doing something about it. Nice. The pelvic exam is something that you tend not to talk about, maybe besides just being like, why the f am I doing this? <laughs> Full disclosure, I used to work with Haley, Fran, and Rachel, the folks who were leading this project. So when I say they're all super talented designers, I know that from firsthand experience. No, Fran's gonna slay, remember? No, sorry. Get out of here. <laughs> the pelvic exam, it's an uncomfortable topic because it's something that people suffer through in private. Meet camera mark. As different as everyone's exams are, there's a lot of the same pain points that happen that everyone experiences. The sound of a plastic speculum. Oh, that sounds sucks. You have to wear a gown, you have to get on a table, you have to put your legs up, and there's a, there's a scooch. The scooch moment, um, which is this quintessential moment of the pelvic exam experience. Your legs are up in the stirrups with your gown that's open, you're not wearing underwear, and you scooch your butt to the end of the table until your butt is hanging off the table. So it's very uncomfortable and very exposing. The combination of all of these things make it a really tough exam for a lot of people, to the point where people just don't get their exam. Designed by a man, tested on enslaved women, and generally despised, the speculum is awful for a lot of reasons. Design researcher putting the comfort of the patient um, first was, was certainly not on the top of his list. A big part of designing products, services, and experiences is thinking about the end user and having empathy for them. You really need to sort of step into their shoes. You understand what this experience is like. So we use this, this method called radical empathy. This is the speculum. Whoa. The Yonacare team conducted a radical empathy exercise, having male designers read first-person accounts of typical pelvic exams. I start to undress awkwardly. Uh, putting all my clothes on a chair. I put on the paper gown. I look down and her head is in between my legs. I hear the awful clicking sound as she adjusts it. I feel some scraping, some pressure, some poking and prodding. Ah! So we use radical empathy to gain insight into what it feels like to be them, not just what's happening to them. As the Yonacare team began branding the project, they made an observation. It was initially called the Women's Health Concept Project, but pelvic exams are for anyone who has a vagina. And not everyone with vagina identifies as a woman. Our whole team went into this process really just like beating the drum of femininity, and that was not the right approach for an exam like this. The Yonacare team began reaching out to the LGBTQIA community so that they could learn from the experiences of communities they hadn't captured in their initial research. They discovered that for many people, the pelvic exam can be far more uncomfortable or even traumatic than they'd initially expected. Yeah, so I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna read some of the, the quotes we've had from our uh, latest round of research. This one's pretty intense. The doctor said, I'm going to be doing a manual exam, but he didn't say, I'm going to be sticking two fingers inside of you. So that was bad, and they don't understand the physical sides. If you're on testosterone, things kind of just shrink up and dry out. You're gonna need like 10 times the lube. I find nearly all of it completely uncomfortable and you'll find it sometimes painful. In the moment, I felt like I was no longer in my body. And then afterwards, I cleaned up and I left. And then I cried in my car for half an hour. <laughs> Most trans guys, they're just not gonna go because it's really difficult and it's dangerous, we get cervical cancer too. If we can design an exam experience that is not painful on a vagina that um, is in a body that's taking testosterone, it'll be a success for the rest of the people who have to go through this exam experience. 
Empathy is an incredibly important skill for a designer because we need to be able to design for things that aren't just a part of our life. The Unicare team changed the way that they branded the project and how they talked about and portrayed patients. So this is Jamie, who is our gender neutral brand character. We switched from using the word women and she to saying health for people with vaginas. Yonacare has a long way to go before their redesigned speculum is used in a doctor's office. But their research has shown something as simple as adjusting how caregivers speak about or conduct the exam can have a powerful, positive impact. Even if we don't make a speculum that gets to market, we have impacted people's lives. Whether we get inbound saying, I didn't know what the speculum was before I heard about Yona. I went and had my first pelvic exam at 33. Like, that to me is a success. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram so that we can continue sharing stories about people thinking differently and changing the world.